Welcome back to Raymond Lee Jewelers web series. I'm Liz and today I'll be showing you three of Raymond Lee Jewelers rare and vintage timepieces. First, we have this Blanc Pain 50 Fathoms. The 50 Fathoms is the original diving watch. It predates the Submariner, Seamaster, and any other diving watch. It was first developed by France in 1952 to suit the needs of their military swimmers, the Nageurs de Combat. Essentially, the special team conducted underwater intelligence using all of the technology available to them at that time. A captain within this team thought that their gauges, compasses, and watches weren't cutting it, so he designed the 50 Fathoms to suit their needs. Eventually, Blanc Payne began producing it, and the 50 Fathoms was worn on the wrists of the French and a handful of other European countries' armed forces. It was also worn by American forces. You'll notice that this particular model doesn't have Blanc Pain written anywhere on it. This is due partially to the fact that there were dozens of varied models produced from the 1950s through the 1980s. Another reason is that the aforementioned American forces wearing the 50 Fathoms had a strict policy of supporting exclusively American-made products. Therefore, something bearing the French Blanc Pain would not have been suitable for troops to wear. The 50 Fathoms is highly collectible due to its many, many incarnations, and it's highly likely that it served as partial inspiration for the Rolex Submariner. This particular model, on a cloth strap, would likely fetch upwards of $3,000. The second watch I'm showing today is another diver's watch, the Rolex Submariner. We've shown you some of our more modern subs before, and they remain one of our most popular models. This particular sub, the 1680 is especially rare thanks to its red Submariner lettering on the dial. The red subs were produced up until 1973 and after that ceased production, making them highly collectible. This sub was last serviced by Rolex in 1994, as you can see from the papers, but will not be serviced there anymore due to its age. The last service date ensures its authenticity as Rolex will only service Rolexes in their factory condition. The final watch I'm sharing today is our rarest. This Patek Philippe 2560 is extremely rare. No one from our showroom has ever seen it before, and it could be one of a kind. Its defining features are its hooded lugs, which are rare among watches. This particular Patek was produced in 1951 and sold in 1957. We were lucky enough to have purchased it from the original owner, and it's one of our treasured pieces. This extremely rare paddock will likely be sold to one of the fine auction houses like Christie's or Sotheby's. Collecting rare vintage watches is an intriguing, history-rich hobby. It brings out passionate horology enthusiasts and encourages experts and novices alike to do their research. Always remember to authenticate a vintage watch before you buy it. And the extremely rare models are sometimes the most counterfeited, like that red sub I mentioned before. All of the watches I've shown you today have been authenticated by the manufacturer, and remember that any reputable seller should be able to show you the documentation. I hope you've enjoyed our little collection today, and thanks for watching.